Welcome to Women of the Metaverse. I am Cheryl Laidlaw. I am Angela Harkness. We have been and are still on a journey to discover the Metaverse, Web 3.0, NFTs and anything that we are required to know to join this world. From this podcast, we will help you to unlock how the metaverse is going to impact your brand, your business, and even your personal life. Join us as we take the mystery out of this new digital universe. Welcome to episode six of Women of the Metaverse. In this episode, we are going to be talking about fashion in the metaverse. Who is leading the way? how to design in the metaverse and opportunities for business owners. We're really excited about this episode and it could be or could have been hours long just from our research and I think based on the research we're going to do many many more episodes in the future about fashion brands and different projects. Um, Such an interesting I know because even you said to me well you know it's all right but then when you like started to research it you were like this is amazing this yeah, is amazing I, I, I wasn't overly interested to begin with but actually yeah. it's the there's so much really unfolded and I'm like whoa yeah I know I was getting a little <laughs> panicky because I was what do we include what do we include so yeah that we will do many many more because what we've sort of discovered from the research is fashion seems to be really leading the way in the metaverse and we've talked about this before and we will mention it millions of times more but community really seems to be the foundation of the metaverse and web 3.0 and nfts and it's really interesting to see how designers and labels are introducing themselves to try and build on that community aspect and not just launch themselves as the big i ams so we're going to get into all of that so cheryl Mm -hmm. what designers are in the metaverse what have you been looking at what interests you well, 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 the list is too long, but here are a few interesting projects. So randomly, or I think it's random, we have Clarks. Clarks are making their way into the, I love this. Into the metaverse. This brand was founded in 1825. And in 2021, in collaboration with Roblox, they entered the metaverse. I think that's quite impressive. I think that's brilliant because it just says to all those people that are going, oh, why should I be in the metaverse or it's not for me? And we have all had a pair of Clark shoes as kids. And I think the fact that they are being really forward thinking is is yeah. brilliant I, I love think that's this a really good one yeah and then we've got our Gucci you know our, our leading leading brand so in 2021 again with partnership with Roblox they again created, killing it pa- uh, yeah, Roblox. Roblox absolutely they created a two-week garden exhibition that anyone could enter they also designed a and dropped a limited edition of virtual bags where some sold for more than the physical bags. Outrageous. That's pretty epic. I know. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. And of course, we've got Louis Vuitton. To celebrate their 200th birthday, they created a game called Louis... Is it Louis? Louis, Louis the, the game. game. Yeah, Louis I think game. that's what it was. Um, they were show... Um, they showed players the legacy of Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton house using a character called Vivian. And along this game, you can collect NFTs. And I, just well, think, I think a few other things. Like, yeah, it just Probably it's really smart. Well. Yeah, yeah, it's it was really smart the way that they they did it, like how they gamified the, you know, this whole thing. But, you know, showed their birthday and then you know obviously made a few pounds from it as well but you as like a collector could really pick up and the fact that they made a game as well yeah brilliant excellent we got Balenciaga they collaborated with Fortnite designers and designed a very recognizable Balenciaga clothesline purely for the game I mean they had to do that didn't they yeah think about what um Kim Kardashian is wearing at the moment it's kind of they they've sort of taken that physical into the metaverse and again Fortnite is another one just you know really doing their thing Fortnite fans rack up millions of dollars on their skins, which basically clothes for their avatars. And the fashion industry is only just beginning to realise that they might be there might be an opportunity for digital wearables. Yeah, that's which, so interesting, that side of it, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, 
everyone's doing it. Everyone yeah. who's anyone is doing it. Yeah. We mentioned in a previous episode the Metaverse Fashion Week. You have done more research, Angela. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah. This. So we just literally mentioned it in a previous episode, but I just really looked into it. And what I will say, I mean, as usual, all the links and everything will be on the show notes, but particularly try and look at the links for the Metaverse Fashion Week, because there's some amazing videos of what went on and, you know, like avatars on the runway and the types of clothes that they were designing. It just is really brilliant. So First of all, we're going to mess, mesh, mention her again, Kathy Hackle, because she seems to be, she's such an influencer in this space. So someone to follow if you're interested, because she was actually chair of Metaverse Fashion Week. And it took place in Decentraland. And there were over 60 brands that took part. Selfridges and Forever 21 revealed their flagship stores. And again, go and have a look at our show notes, because it shows that you are not limited in the metaverse. So Selfish's flagship shop, flagship store. That's difficult to <laughs> say, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's like that a tongue twister. <laughs> but it, it, you don't have to build square brick boxes in the metaverse. What did you say it looked like? You said it looked like something, the Selfish's. Spaceship or something. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So go and have a look at that. Um there were other designer brands such as Tommy Hilfiger, DKMY, Dolce and Gabbana, Karl Lagerfeld, just, just a few, just that scratch the surface of um, the brands that were involved. And attendees who um, were at the fashion shows in the metaverse witnessed exclusive online collections, digital wearables, um, physical products. So they saw what this was in the metaverse that they could buy the physical product in store um, and NFTs. And what it, what's amazing about this, again, it opens up a conversation about community because if you had a Decentraland account, you could attend. You didn't need an invite. You could go to this fashion week and it starts to get rid of this exclusivity and snobbery that sort of surrounds the um, real world fashion weeks. So that's a really interesting one to sort of look in. I think we're going to have more conversation yeah. about I'll, this in other I'd episodes. I'd love to know the um, a ticket. Well, how many people turned up to 2022 and now obviously in 2023? Oh, yeah. What the difference that will be? Yeah. Even mm -hmm. if they do, I don't know if they've got one planned for like um, autumn, October. fall. Yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe. But the other thing that it does is it also gives an amazing stage to new designers to, to open up and show what they can do whether they're designing physical or digital clothing to a massive audience um and it's what really excites us is the new designers designing in the metaverse and we've got some really amazing um projects that you know why don't you tell us about them because you sure. did this research well it wasn't really until I did this research and when I actually became interested in, <laughs> in this um because before it was all our mainstream designers, whereas now I found some brand new brands that are leading the way. So the first one was a brand called Tribute Brand, and they started to sell fashion, um, digital fashion online on their website. And when I last checked, I could see that most of the garments were sold out, which I think creates you know that FOMO makes it more yeah. desirable yeah that a Hermes thinking, type yeah and I was thinking how could it sell, sell out but if you only make a certain amount of garments then obviously they can say only 50 yeah. available yeah so the website was really basic but when I went onto their Instagram they had a really large following of about 49,000 followers and their whole library, so their whole feed of, on Instagram was photos, so real photographs of their customers wearing the digital outfits. So they'd be sitting on the sofa with their psychedelic glass <laughs> bomber jacket on or something yeah. like that, really, really yeah. casual. And they also had, uh, had their flagship store in Decentraland. So that was my first findings. And then it only got better because my second uh, bit of research was a brand called The Fabricant. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. 
And their tagline on their website says, create, trade, wear. I love this. This is so good. (laughs) So good. So you can actually go design a piece of clothing from a template, choose your fabric, choose your color. And then this can be turned into an NFT that you can that you can mint and earn an income from. This is so smart because some of the outfits, again, are just fully you know, fashion outfits, just really. I really urge you to go and have a look on our show notes yeah. to see the yeah. examples of these yeah. because that it is this even the website is a it's well, oh, I've just completely blown away by the by the A the clothes, B the website and the the whole it's, concept. Yeah, it's the creativity behind it that's just really exciting. Definitely. And then my third piece of research was a young lady called Scarlett Yang. She's a British designer who was featured in the Metaverse Fashion Week. And Scarlett designed a dress using algae extract, right? So <laughs> amazing. And then she combined the design with 3D technology to make it look like glass, right? You're sort of thinking, what, how... Again, go to the this show. Is, this is out. actually a real dress. <laughs> this, this is real, is not, yeah. Yeah, this is real. Totally. So the dress reacts to changes in the weather and temperature, and it would completely dissolve. It would completely dissolve if left in water for more than 24 hours. I think what's amazing about this one, this may have been, I may, this, I may be saying this incorrectly, but I think this might have been part of her project to graduate from yes. um, St. Martin's. It but, sounds like a very, yeah, very... Yeah, and um, it's very, it. it's about sustainability. So I think the reason why she designed it using this algae extract and that it would dissolve is kind of in talking about fast fashion and how yeah. much waste there is. But also when we were looking at her and talking about her, one of the things that she was saying is to the to be able to design in the metaverse or in this virtual world, she can do things that she wouldn't be able to do in the real world because there's no gravity. So some of the things that she designs in the real, in the virtual world, just stunning, but also that 3D modeling aspect allowed her to create this amazing dress. I mean, her, the designs and the video of her just doing it, it's just incredible. If you again go and have a look at her Instagram, look at the video on our show notes of her design, it just is incredible. It's just Brilliant. amazing. Yeah. yeah. You know? So actually, you're full of amazing ideas. How can people get involved and start creating? So I was actually sat in the garden thinking about this on our one nice day we've had. I mean, I don't know where in the world you're listening to this, but it's nearly June and it's raining in England again. <laughs> like it's just a madness. So I sat in the garden and thinking there must be like a few jobs or businesses in this situation. And they're probably the same with social media. There'd be jobs that we don't even know about yet um, that are going to take place in the, ma- the metaverse. And I was thinking, well, what, like, how could people start to think about it in the real world? And what could they do? What jobs or businesses could they set up? So one of them obviously is fashion designer. And we've talked about this in this episode. You could design, which some of the brands we've talked about only now design for the metaverse, Mm -hmm. or you could design in using the modeling, the physical version, you know, obviously what you're interested in. But then there's something like a stylist. Again, you can do this in a physical way using VR, AR, AI, holographic technology, whatever else is going to come out, buying physical clothes, or you could solely be a metaverse stylist. So you could have a cat avatar going into a shop where you could, you know, like style them for clothes or something. Um, And then obviously this is a bigger one that may be... um, is going to be something that if you're interested, you could look at. And that's actually developer because using all of these tools, this 3D modeling, the AR, VR, all of the new technology um, to learn how to design using these technologies is going to be a real skill that people will look for. And even on Decentraland now, you can go to Decentraland and they supply, you can, you can create Accessories, yeah. You download the templates and you can 
you know, put in the dimensions, the textures, and there's all these resources. So you could actually go and have you a go tomorrow, at it today. Totally. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you have to have some 3D knowledge, but, you know, give it a bash. It's I all bet. learnable. And it's, yeah. you know, the information on how to do it is out there. People are just putting this content out there. It's not expensive to go and learn. Obviously, it takes, you know, a bit of time, but you can just go and see what people are doing. It's, actually, it's actually amazing. I have a little research today on, um, you can buy a Udemy. Is it Udemy course? Yes. Yeah. For $19.99 yeah. for 3D cinema. Oh, no, yeah. for 4D cinema. Right. That's so incredible. I was very yeah. tempted. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> should do it <laughs> um what else is there so open a mess first closing shop that's that's an obvious one so get all these people that are designing just for the mess first and you know sell their clothes for them you could arrange your own events so we've talked about events in the metaverse in a previous episode and how you can do it using some of the platforms that are out there so you could do fashion shows you could do meetups this one was kind of I don't know if this is a jokey one but I really think this might come true is you could actually be a metaverse avatar influencer because I think you know that's going to be a thing I think it'll be a thing. So the other one is um, a fashion collaborator. Um, and I'm thinking about this, you know, as somebody who is maybe like a super connector. So you've got these big brands that are collaborating with, you know, Roblox collaborating with um, Clarks or other big brands but then but there are these smaller brands that may want connecting that you could actually be if you're one of these people that are good at matching people together good at sort of referring different businesses maybe your world is in being a super connector in the metaverse um and then there's being an actual fashion metaverse consultant like Kathy Hackle she she's you know she's really out there at the moment so that like or you invent your own your own job and your own role. There is just so much opportunity. I just we can't say enough about just doing research in this area because it, it, I was blown away by what I was finding out. Yeah, I was pretty impressed as well. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> amazing. It, but yeah, it's so we hope we've given you just a little insight in this this episode but thank you for listening um we hope it sparked some ideas and if you have any questions we have a facebook group now which the link will be in our show, show notes and what we're going to be talking about next week cheryl we're going to be talking about what is the blockchain yes <laughs> see you next week yeah bye thank you for listening to this episode of women of the metaverse you can find all information, links, and people we talked about in the show notes on our website. If you have enjoyed this podcast, please comment and subscribe. Join us again in the next episode as we continue this exciting Metaverse journey.